Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners. And when we last left off, we started picking off just a few counties down here that's holding out. The rest of the uh, British Isles are strongly under our control. We do have a group of islands right here that we could press for uh, the Duke of Orkney, led by the King of Norway. Do we want to actually do that? I'm not sure. All right, so Finesce. Oh, yes, absolutely. He has a point. So Earl Baron becomes... Or, yeah, Baron of Wiltshire becomes the vassal. Um, so Finesce of Britannia. Eighthwald of Kent. Okay, yeah. Well, he has a point. For sure. Um, I wish I could get rid of this guy. Uh, we've been doing a pretty good job here of transferring some power. All right, plot is revealed. That's fine. Uh, we were doing some transferring around here, and unfortunately, um, let's see, Duke Afwig of York has 7,000 troops. I don't want to give him Kent, even though this guy is, like, really unruly. Um, I don't want to give him any more troops than necessary, because he's going to vote against me, and that's another 3,000 troops. We'll just leave it be, but we can focus on seeing... Who doesn't like us? How do we get rid of them? Can we pay them off? Uh, like these barons for sure. Uh, let's try to send a gift. Oh yeah, some of these guys are very easily... Um, oh, some of these guys are very easily swayed, which is pretty cool. Let's see, let's send a gift. Send a gift there. And you're in prison. I'm not going to... I'm not going to give you anything. So we're closing in on 1418, and the game ends after 1444, so we've only got maybe 30 years left in this playthrough. We can go speed 4 or even speed 5 through this early truce timer while we pick off uh, these two counties that remain. Also, if we felt so bold, we could move on the Kingdom of France. Now that is... Oh nice, our wife. Expose her immediately. Does she have a plot? No, she doesn't. Awesome. So our... Yeah, plus 20 opinion. Excellent. So our chancellor is doing the work, helping improve relations, and that's what we need, especially down here. Looks like the Earl of Kent is up next. Where are you? Of course you're in Kent. Why wouldn't you be in Kent? All right, we'll send you to talk nice-nice and uh, see if there are any of other vassals we can sort of get rid of, like these counts. If we could find a duke that really liked us, the Duke of Galloway? Nah, he's all the way up there. That'd be really awkward to give him, like, the Count of Kent. I mean, that would be crazy. It would kind of work, though. We could sort of spread the, spread the wealth around, Although, we've got our old man face on. We're 52 years old. I don't know how long we are going to live. Yeah, because she's not going to die anytime soon at 27 years old. Oh, the Duke is no longer the steward. And our Duke was... Our, uh, our tax collector was killed by a big unruly mob. Well, that's always nice. Well, he died doing what he loved. Maybe. All right, so Westerin is a coward. But, in leading the center, he gets a percentage bonus? I don't know if they offset. But Aethwell, the Earl of Kent, if he were to kick over... Well, you're a coward too. All y'all are cowards. How can you be a coward and a direct leader? Well, I mean, you should be fine. But, we need a new steward to collect some taxes, so Art, the Duke of De Huebar, you are now our uh, steward, good sir. Be a shame if you got killed collecting taxes. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't think we can... Oh, yeah, 87 gold to improve some opinion. Make sure that the marshal likes us. And no, uh, we can't improve his uh, opinion any further. That is fine. Our truces with these guys here last until 1426. So we're still a ways away from that war. And, let's see, declare war 23. We kind of want to sweep in and do them both at the same time. Or, nah, we, we could finish up this war way before 
um, we needed to do anything there. So we don't need to wait for these truce timers to sync up to stand up our army all at once. So we'll pick off uh, Dorset first. And that is, of course, if he doesn't want to... Nah, he must be at peace. What is going on with him? Oh, he is attacking in the Catholic Crusade for Anatolia. You really sent your troops all the way down there. You and what navy? Good, sir. How many boats do you have? Not enough to... Yeah, he's got, like, enough boats to send 800 troops. So I think he's got, what, eight boats? I mean, good on ya. My vassal has requested a lower rank vassal should should serve him. I mean, he doesn't... He doesn't hate us, but he doesn't like us. And it is Earl Rua of Chester. Let's see. Earl Rua improves... No, betrayed me. Now nah, we can get rid of Earl Rua of Chester. I think he has a point. So there you go, plus 29. And we got rid of another uh, vassal that didn't really like us. So quite frankly, there's only maybe like five or six people of our 21 that really don't like us. And that, that gives me the warm and fuzzies. Let's take a look at these bishops though. We need to sort of uh, grease their palms a bit, help them pay us rather than the Pope, always good. We'll just spend some money to make money. And indeed, we're making taxes there, making taxes there. And this guy, he was bumped up, his positive opinion, because we gave him that vassal that he wanted. And we can't improve his opinion any further than that, unfortunately. Oh, looks like we lost our spy master. Oh, I figured he would have been the court chaplain. Any who's the 12. Well, we definitely don't want Kaithbad to be our spy master. No way, no how. Scheme in the capital, if you please. Let's take a look at the intrigue here. See if there are, there's 44 known known plots. Holy crap. We could go down the list and just tell everyone to stop everything that you're doing. And I think, yeah, the auto stop plots uh, check mark will come in Come in handy here, I think. There they go. Bam, ba, bam, 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 bam. Down to six, down to two. So are these the two that will not stop their plot? Yeah, that guy won't stop their plot. Oh, nice. Our, uh, our court chaplain's doing the work. Improve them. I think we need to get him on over to the archbishop for sure. Taking a look at these... Yeah, we've actually got some people that could use another bump. The Archbishop should be first. That should be the easiest. And you are ruling where? You are in Derby. Awesome. So you can go to Derby and go tar talk to that Archbishop, if you please. So those two are the plots that they would not stop. To kill Berenson and Hendrik, you know what? Not really worth it here. My liege, my mission to Kent. All right, so plus 20 opinion there. Good on you. What kind of threats do we have in our realm? Lower the crown authority. I mean, I'd be okay with that if that didn't strip our title of emperor. Because I think the emperor has to hold a certain crown authority. Never a shortage of soldiers. Good on you. Can we grease the palms any of these people, I wonder? 65 bucks? There you go. You don't want to... You don't want to lower the crown authority. You don't want to lower the crown authority. Mo Cronma of Britannia. Interesting. So did our heir die? I definitely want to do primogenitor. The imperial laws of Britannia. That way the oldest child inherits, and that would be Finnish J, who isn't a bad guy. And that way we can ensure. Primogeniture. Boom. There we go. Ireland, primogeniture. Bam. Um, England, can't change those laws. Scotland, primogeniture. Bam. Kingdom of Wales, can't touch. And Brittany, primogeniture. Bam. So now... Finish J is going to be a really powerful dude. We're getting uh, everything back in order here. 
And that should work out pretty well. So we need to look out for the Kingdom of England. And we do have some English vassals that don't like us. And as far as Scotland goes... No, it was, uh, it was Wales. Alright, so another... Oh, okay. So, Pope Martinus accepted Duke Roy Roy's offer to join the crusade. Alright, we lose the trait kind. That sucks. That helped our diplomacy, vassal opinion, same trait opinion. Why? Why would you lose kind there, guy? Well, that sucks. No valid ambition either. Holy crap on a cracker. Who's that? Oh, that's uh, Duke Roy. So he doesn't like us, but his 20,000, 26,000 troops. That's pretty impressive. Um, okay, yeah, we improved with that bishop, but I wanted you to improve with the archbishop. Holy crap, that is... That's pretty outstanding. Actually, I didn't realize that uh, Duke Roy was so powerful. Lower the crown authority in Ireland is now up to 140%. Well, I guess... I have no choice? I mean, that's fine. Everyone else should be pretty happy. Gavelkind in Brittany. And uh, yeah, all these people that absolutely hate us, we might be able to get rid of some of these guys, I think. How about you? 82%, maybe. Let's go through and see who absolutely hates us and see if we can get some intrigue going on in here. Especially with these dukes that really don't like us. Let's see, vassals. The opinion. We've got two that absolutely hate us, and then you'll die a slow, painful death. That's fine. You. 112%, and you really like us, Martin. Hey, old man. It is time to find some openings here. So there we go. Plot power kicking off. Gavelkind in Ireland. I am not all about that life. Who wants Gavelkind? So you want Gavelkind. Well, here's 60 bucks. You don't want Gavelkind anymore. And here's 119 bucks. You don't want Gavelkind anymore, do ya? Do ya? Go away. I said, go away. If she does rise up against us... Oh, and this guy wants Gavelkind. He's like, hey! Oh, and he has a lot of troops. So this guy wants Gavelkind, unfortunately. That's not going to be too well. He wants to uh, separate all of our holdings up, and we are not all about that life. We could go to elective, but we are not going Gavelkind. Even if I have to raise up everything and, and call in uh, mercenaries, we are going to not deal with that. 120% on this guy. He is a family member, though. Why does this guy hate us? Oh, well, he's ambitious for sure. We hold too many duchies, high crown authority, desires the kingdom of Wales, ambitious, the known murderer. Well, being a known murderer, you know... That, that's just how we are. It does make me wonder about the timing of our war. Because in three years, we want to take this county. But if our troop count drops significantly, then those factions are going to be the mayor of Dorchester. Um, why does he not like us? High crown authority and the known murder, and 30 for being imprisoned. Yeah. Um, I'll be merciful and why not? Release. There you go. Now plus three. Can I send you a gift? 81 bucks? There you go. Like us. So we have a mayor that likes us pretty well. Throwing our money around like it's going out of style. But we are not going to deal. Has arrested an, an armed man with a ragged armor and a spotty horse. He claims to be a hedge knight. So we gain piety, which we don't really need. Tanis Finesche loses prestige. We don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll lose 10 piety for that. He's clearly a bandit. And you know what? Cancel that before things go bad. Duke Osman has inherited the duchy from Aethweld the Wise, our courtier. This guy really likes us. Northumberland, good on you, sir. 
And Roy, Duke of the Isles. You are now our commander, good sir. Oh, and we need a... Oh, a, um, a regent. Yes, indeedy. We need a designated regent. And who better than our heir to do the work? I mean, he needs to get... Uh, he needs to get, you know, a handle on running things anyway. You are just going to be one big pain in the side, aren't you, ambitious you brain? You're 66, man. Why don't you just keel over? Yeah, we lost all of that plot power. It's better that he, you know, dies a natural death. All right, so what other dangerous factions are looming here? Not too many. They're sort of dropping off and losing, uh, losing power. 74 bucks. And 160. There you go. You don't want, uh, yeah. There's a claim. Have fun. So 42% for the... Yeah, he's... This guy's like, hey, I want to be king of Wales. And then womp, womp, womp. Can we change these laws yet? Just in case, I want to make sure. So England... Scotland, Wales, probably because the, yeah, elective monarchy or full monarchy, that's, that's fine. Brittany is the primogeniture. That is elective. You know, we could nominate our heir here, Khan, Mochatma, and Kaithbad. So who stands to inherit Britannia? Finish Jay the Just. Then we'll just do that. Kingdom of Wales, we shall nominate Finish Jay. There we go. And Scotland is primogeniture. England is elective. We're going to vote Finnish J. And get the Kingdom of England. So yeah, we're lining up pretty nicely. I think... Yeah, Wales is the only one we would lose if we died right now today. Duke Art of De Huaybarth and Caithbad of Gwynedd. Oh yeah, and he really doesn't like us. <laughs> I don't think there's... 52. Vote for our guy. Nice. So more positive vassal opinion here. Um, since we are working on these electors, could we see who is voting for this guy? Duke Art and Duke Caithbad. And there's Duke Caithbad ruling in Gwynedd. See if you can go nice, nice. See if you can improve his opinion. Because Mr. Ambitious, oh, nice. Right away. You want to vote for who I'm voting for. Fabricating a claim on the Kingdom of Wales. He'll stop it. Nice. My wife, Empress Asta. Oh yeah, I am married. Asked me to get rid of one of my courtiers. On one hand, she might not be happy if I refuse, but if I fire the annoying man, people will feel like my wife has too much influence. So Duke Art's opinion goes down. Well, I mean, it can't go down anymore. Astra's opinion goes up, and we want... Yeah. He's no longer steward. And I guess that's for the better. Yes, we shall forgive you. We'll just put him back. Hopefully he gets killed by rabble. 2%. Construction sabotage, and... No negative penalty there. Oh, we can hope he gets killed by the rabble. He can make us money, and then, you know, be... Be maimed, killed, destroyed, and all that good stuff. Seems like a plan. So one prisoner, and that guy is definitely going to... Uh, yeah, we're not going to lower everyone's opinion. We're just going to let him rot. Known plots, go ahead and auto-suppress, if you please. See how many of these uh, will automatically go away. We're down to six. Yeah, of course Duke Art is not going to... Oh, yeah, he well, did. How about that? That's kind of cool. I didn't think the guy that absolutely hated us would stop fa trying to fabricate a claim. All right, so Gavelkind. No, we're not doing Gavelkind. No matter what you guys say. And of course, there are kinsmen, so they're like, hey, you know what would be great? Oh, our boy collected a tithe. Good on you. But yeah, if we were to split all of our realms up between all of our kids, like, that, that would suck, for sure. Unlanded Sons. So we have Dathgus. 
do we have anything we can give him? Let's see, we have the county of Austria and Leinster. He's not going to get one of those. The county of Dublin, he's not getting that. County of Middlesex. We can give him that county. I don't feel like we would be giving up too awful much. The county of Middlesex and all the lower titles, please. There you go. Welcome to Count Hood, my son. Open council for the spy master. You're still our spy master. Go ahead and scheme in the capital if you please. My wife, Af Aster, was captivated by the grace of the hunting birds. A falcon will serve you well. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do what we can to keep our wife happy. Nothing wrong with that for sure. We need another commander, the Earl of Kent. There you go, good sir. You are now a commander. So I need to keep an eye out on this, on these factions. If we lose half of our men, then Gavelkine would be a thing, and we don't want it to be a thing whatsoever. In fact, I wish I had the crown authority to say, you know what? Never suggest Gavelkind ever again. It's an old, antiquated, outdated approach, and we are not going to do it. As a matter of fact, when we do storm uh, these two counties here, we can use this guy's troops. Old er, uh, Ogan II, Duke Ogan, uh, ruling in... Oh, nice! More positive improvement. Then maybe he will uh, vote for our guy. You just keep working him on over. So Buchan. Yeah, if we raise up all the Buchanese troops, I guess that would be a thing. Buc Buchanese, the troops from Buchan, then he wouldn't be so powerful because his troops would be, um, you know, a big part of the battle there. Let's see. Earl of Suffolk seeks to fabricate on the Duchy of East Anglia. End your plot. He's not going to do it. He is my liege, but low opinion. All right, here's 138 bucks. Now will you stop it? Now he'll stop it. And then that marriage proposal went away. Good on it. All right, so trucking along nicely here. I still want to kind of get rid of these unruly vassals here. A betrothal. Our daughter still isn't married. This could be a power play that we could do. How old is she? 39. Well, I mean, she's betrothed to... Galilee. Is that not the daughter they were talking about? What daughter are they? Oh, that one. Okay, our 21-year-old genius. Yes, indeed. We do need... Make sure it's matrilineal. Um, just a commander of Pisa... Let's see, are there any other geniuses around here? A courtier in Aix. That is a really strong combat modifier. He would be a very good marshal and a siege leader. He's 40, though, but we could make some use of him. That actually seems pretty, pretty good. All right, we'll do that. I know we could have done like a big Holy Roman King or something like that, but for now, yeah, we want to appoint uh, him as commander for sure. Minor titles, who is our crappiest commander? You saw with nothing, Wigorik. You are now our commander, good sir. And probably our marshal, but we don't want to upset our kid. But if he's over 100, he, he wouldn't care. Yeah, let's appoint him as our marshal and then train troops in our capital. And you know what? You'd be pretty good. Let's see, the burghers of Osory demand the city law be set higher than the canonical laws, but the bishops protest, declaring that the law of the church should supersede the law of the city. So we have our vassal. That goes down by minus 10. That goes up, oh, by 15. Or we can just lower his opinion by 10 for two years. So we can either increase him by 15 and lower him. And 33 bucks. We want him to pay taxes. We'll do the superseding there. 
Let's see. The steward seeks to kill. Oh, nice. Keep on talking to those bishops. Make them see how awesome we are. 34 bucks. There you go. We could probably do some adjusting. Wow, that archbishop really hates us. Outraged by the succession law. Okay, I see. I see indeed. So we're not going to get him positive. That is for sure. How far away are we from Dorset? 23. So this April, we can go. Duke Afwig has inherited. Oh, that's not good. Duke Afwig of York should probably kick the bucket pretty hard. And I don't think he is our... He's just our vassal. He's not our kin. So these guys would come on board. And can we sway anyone else? For 9%. There we go. He's joining the plot. We need some more. We'll send a gift of 75. And that's really all we can do. We're over 100% now. So the plot should fire, but we need every ounce of strength we can. We can increase our plot power if we move our spy master, though. Reigning in Lincoln. Yeah, okay, let's move our spy master there. We're going to build a spy network in Lincoln. Increase that plot power up to 111. That way, if someone drops off, uh, we can scheme. We just got to make sure this guy... Uh, kicks the bucket pretty hard. And at 22, you know, that's, uh, it's going to be a, a hard deal for him to die of natural causes. We could go to war next month, but with these factions looming, yeah, 50% and 50% elective succession in Scotland, of course he is going to stand up. Why don't you die? You are 68 years old, man. And this guy isn't ambitious. He's arbitrary, which is actually pretty good. We need you to die. Really hard. Hopefully he gets killed by rabble. That would be pretty good. So while we still have these factions over 50%, I do not want to go to war and give them a reason to fire. There's a levy reinforcement. Unless I do do the, the thing where I send down their troops. So everyone who wants to stand against me, I use their troops to, to go to war with, with, which might not actually be a bad thing. If we were to stand up the troops in Buchan, that would get us 1,800 troops. And then if we were to stand up your troops in York, in Lincoln, that's 2,000 troops. Yeah, I think that's what we do. We just pick and choose to go to war for this county, and we use everyone else, not even our own troops to do it. I think that would work out pretty well. All right, so we shall declare the war, the de jure claim on Dorset. We'll hang on to it for now. There we go. So we are at war. We're not going to call in any al allies. We're going to look and see... Who has the most powerful troops here? So the troops in Buchan are going to stand up and come on down to York. The Yorkish troops. Yeah, the Duke of York. So you're actually reigning in Lincoln. So we'll stand up your troops and join you there. And then who else has troops you want to commit? The Duchy of Galway. All right, we're raising up your troops then. All right, everybody, pile in. This guy has 3,000 troops for the cause. We could probably do a few extra troops. There's 1,700, and how about yours? 500, we're not going to argue with that. We're not going to dismiss our personal levy, that is for sure. We want to keep uh, everything nice and stable. All right, how about Norfolk? 2,000, there we go. 
So this band of troops should be more than willing and able to come down here and crush this rebellion. Oh, and perfect. These guys are away. Yes, get down here. And you are not leading the siege, good sir. Um, our marshal shall. So let's tell our marshal to stop training troops. Get him in charge. The siege leader. And then... Um, that duke? Just in case he gets killed. And Archibald, just in case he gets killed. Then everyone else is going to pile down right there on Dorset. Because they are off fighting the uh, Holy War. So we can have all of this place siege down before he even knows what hit him. And especially with this siege leader, it is going to be amazing. So there we go. Everyone merge up. We've got enough troops. So what are you doing leading the siege? No, 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 sir. We want Wigorok leading the center. Yep, that's fine. We want Wigorok leading the center. Now we're getting some siege ability. 5%. So we'll just sort of stay here. Dangerous factions, 84 for Gavelkind. Intricate web weaver, that's good. Can we pay off any of these guys? We can pay you off. We can pay you off. We can not pay you off or pay you off and not pay you off. Hopefully your troops get uh, destroyed in this siege. No, what are you doing leading? Wigorik, resign. Wigorik in the center. Stop moving. I know what's good here. Yeah, 5.2% every 12 days. We're going to do the siege in half the time. And then we can just siege down the rest of this stuff. All right. There's no longer court chaplain. We got a court chaplain that kicked the bucket. And an 18. You, sir, are our court chaplain. Who should we send him to? The archbishop? Uh, bishop Nial actually is our court chaplain, so we can't uh, have him talk to himself, but that's fine. Uh, Bishop Tald in Osiri. Okay, that sounds good. You, sir, will improve religious relations in Osiri as we continue with this siege. So this county should fall fairly quickly. We can win this war pretty much outright, and that will put us within... Uh, 20 years or so of finishing this game. Let's go ahead and go speed 5. While this ticks away, hopefully our marshal doesn't die. But at 5.2% every 12 days, we're going to definitely take a chunk. Holy man gave the order. So how does Bishop Nial react? Good work in my ear. Nice. So our court chaplain really, really likes that. And I do too. Alright, so the top holding is about to fall. And I'm surprised he did not... Oh, is, is this where you're coming from? Is Are you going to land? Is that what you're doing? Because we're knocking down your walls at 7% every 12 days. I tell you, siege leaders are worth their weight in gold in this game. If you can win a war fairly quickly... Alright. Positive 19. That's what I'm talking about. Who has Gavelkind Succession? Yeah, we need to speak to this guy up there reigning in uh, Buchan. All right, Court Chaplain, if, or Chancellor, get up to Buchan. Make him see how nice we are. Tell him to stop everything that he's doing. Gavelkind Succession in Scotland. Well, hopefully we can talk to these guys and get them, um, you know, calm down a bit. Should be fine. There we go. A daughter was born to our siege leader. Good job. So that's our granddaughter. Good on you, siege leader. I don't know how you manage that, but I guess if sieging is so easy, you can just knock down these walls quick, fast, and in a hurry. Why are you standing up your troops, my dear? 
You are attacking or defending against the Holy Roman Dalmatian Embargo War. I have never heard of an embargo war. Oh, did you guys decide to land troops? Oh, that was a shame. That was a shame indeed. I need you to start making nice nice. Tell them how awesome we are. Ah, no need. War is over. Offer the peace. Enforce the demands. The de jure war is over. Stand everyone down. Get them back home. And yes, those troops should cease to exist. They have no home. Oh, I see. So he's still a count. And yeah, everyone is going to be mad. How about we just give this unruly count to somebody? Who is the duke down here? Duke Mochana of Wessex. Tell you what, transfer some vassalage here. And you are going to get Mr. Unruly. Oh no, I don't want, I guess, your vassals. What I want to do is um, go to here and then transfer vassalage. And then we want, no. I know that's a way to do it. Transfer vassalage. We need to give you our unruly count who is not appearing in this screen. Interesting. Nice. Keep on talking nice, nice. Positive 16. Lower those dangerous factions. Make him see what a terrible idea that is. Even if... Oh, 50 bucks. There you go. You don't want to lower crown authority, do you? Oh, man. We're working on him now. We've got his ear. All right, so then it switched. <laughs> he's like, well, if he's not going to propose gavel kind succession, I am. And it's just going to be sort of a, a ping pong game here. We'll just keep it manageable, though. And I do like the fact that these are not over 50%. Well, this one is. We need to go to the Duke of York, who we are trying to kill and still trying to kill. And we need to, um, we need to make that happen. For sure. We're not going to hold a grand tournament. Sorry. Hopefully these uh, these plots will auto-reject. Bishop Nial is paying us taxes. And he should be working on Osiri for us. So yeah, we're only down to a few scant counties. And hopefully these troops get wrecked. Being a def being defender against the Holy Roman Empire. That seems like a pretty big war. Let's see. If we were to offer to join a war, I just wanted to sort of see what what the, the war looked like, but ah, to no avail. Not important. But things are ticking away swimmily. I think, yeah, that'll go away slowly and surely. I think I will wait until the end of the year before we call it an episode. It'll be 14. Intercede. Surely a show of mercy. Set free. No, 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 no. We will diplomatically explain why we cannot. This guy is going to rot. For sure. As a matter of fact... Nah, we don't want to upset the guy. We'll let him rot. Die of natural causes. And then this guy is gregarious but not ambitious. So that is fairly good. And yeah, so now we only have this guy wanting elective succession. We can't improve those opinions yet. We can't improve that opinion yet. Lowering the crown authority. So we need our uh, court chaplain to go and do that. So yeah, I'll let this uh, tick down a bit. I'll wait until these guys are involved in the war because she's got them all stood up now. If they get wrecked by the Holy Roman Empire and, you know, they're on the mend, that's when I'll pounce and take this last county. So, yeah, we are looking pretty good here. Um, after this, we could move on France. We're not going to move on the Holy Roman Empire. We may try to take this... Death is not something a true Christian should... So we lose one health, we gain 100 piety. Or we lose two health and lose... 
No. We are going to gain 100 piety. It only makes sense. We're going to lose one health. We're 60 years old, though. So, I mean, we've got... We've got, you know, our life well lived here. And when we die, we've got Finesse taking the Empire. Finesse taking Ireland. Three votes to two for England. Edwine... You have uh, Osmond of Northumberland. Hey, uh, Osman. Yeah, you want to vote for our guy, don't you, pal? I know you really, really like me. Hopefully that'll change his vote. Maybe not, but possibly. If this guy kicks the bucket like we're trying to do, then it will definitely uh, change hands, for sure. Uh, then we have the Kingdom of Scotland, Finesse J. The Kingdom of Wales, Finesse J. Kingdom of Brittany, Finesse J. So even though we've got elective in how many? Primogeniture, 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 elective, primogeniture, pre elective. So we've got two electives to clean up. Can we do that now? Can't do that there. Yeah, England is elective and Scotland is elective, right? Yeah. So we can't clean up anything quite yet as far as those go. But that should be fine. Um, it's going to really suck if this guy becomes king of England. Because we might be fighting like a civil war. So hopefully this uh, plot actually fires. We've been sitting on it for a really, really long time. Our daughter still is not married. I'll find her someone nice. Um, she's not a genius. She is content. She's chaste. Let's arrange a marriage. The leader of the French Revolt. That might be good. King of Galicia. King of Lithuania. The Duke of Holland. How about the King of Lithuania? He's attractive. I mean, that would be... Because I don't see you using her for anything. She's not really going to be powerful. I doubt... I mean, why not? Why not? You do that. Go ahead and send. You'll marry a king. The king of Lithuania. I mean, that's not bad. They might be able to send some troops over our way. Let's form an alliance. Oh, he will not. Political concerns. Well, that's fine. Have fun with our daughter. Make babies and all that good stuff. We have plenty of people in our dynasty. If we were to look at our realm tree, who is our most powerful vassal? Roy. With 59% of the troops, and he doesn't like us. We can top him off a little bit more. Negative 12. We'll, let, we'll definitely let our uh, money do the talking for sure. He is a scaredy cat, and he's a lunatic. And his son, the heir, really likes us. I wouldn't mind if he kicked the bucket. And, I mean, he could. But, I mean, if our plot power was any good, we've been sitting on 120% forever trying to kill this guy. You inherited from this guy. Excellent. So our new count, uh, Leo Frick Haley's, likes us. Well, let's uh, welcome you to the fold, good sir. Here's a gift. Making sure that our vassals really like us. He's arbitrary, which is nice. He's not going to stand up against us. And truces are coming to a close with Princess Kinswith of Bedford. That's going to expire in just a month. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to the end of this year. I know that's what I said last time, but we're ticking along nicely at speed three. Once we get to January 1st, we'll call it an episode. And then next time, we should be able to kick off the episode going to war here. Oh, we need a new steward. And this guy, Duke of Mercia. You're good. Go ahead and collect taxes. Be a shame if you get killed by the rabble. But there we go. January 1427. We're about 20 years out. So I'm guessing maybe three or four more episodes, and if we speed five it, we'll really be able to tear through uh, some of this stuff. King of Galway. 
Tell you what. Go on over here and speak nice, nice to the Duke of Galway, if you please. And that is going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings 2. Ladies and gentlemen, nice. The Duchess of Connacht really likes us. I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty stable. We have our laws change in the majority for primogeniture. That way we're sure that all of those get handed over to the appropriate child. But that's going to do it for me in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next episode of Crusader Kings 2. Take care.